fluid in the lungs, also known as pulmonary edema. We can understand it literally, fluid builds up and is accumulated in the lung tissue. The most common symptom of pulmonary edema is shortness of breath or breathing discomfort. Shortness of breath also causes fear and anxiety, which is especially noticeable when a person is lying down. This condition is called orthopnea. In such cases a person often feels more comfortable when standing or sitting up. The second most common symptom is a cough, which is usually a wet cough with frothy sputum that is sometimes tinged with blood, giving it a pinkish hue. A typical patient with pulmonary edema is an older individual with a history of hypertension or heart disease, who is usually obese or overweight. Pulmonary edema and pleural effusion are different conditions, but commonly are presented together. Pulmonary edema means fluid in the alveoli and in lung tissue, while pleural effusion means fluid around lungs in the pleural cavity. X-rays and ultrasounds are commonly used for diagnosis, sometimes computed tomography also used. The most prevalent cause of pulmonary edema is heart failure, more specifically left-sided heart failure, accounting for nearly 70% of cases. This type of heart failure can develop due to various heart conditions, including vascular disease, heart valve disease, hypertension, cardiomyopathy, among others. Patients usually have fluid accumulation in different parts of the body, especially in the feet and legs. In such cases, treatment involves managing heart failure with diuretics, ACE inhibitors or ARBs to lower blood pressure and reduce heart strain and anticoagulants to prevent blood clotting. The second most common cause of pulmonary edema is acute respiratory distress syndrome, ARDS responsible for 10 to 15 percent of cases. ARDS is an emergency condition and a severe form of lung failure caused by severe infections, traumas, or other injuries. Kidney problems are the third most common cause, with 5 percent to 10 percent of cases being attributed to chronic kidney disease or acute kidney injury. The fourth most common cause is high-altitude pulmonary edema, HAPE, which occurs when individuals ascend to high altitudes rapidly without adequate acclimatization. It is more common among young, healthy individuals who can ascend to high altitudes rapidly. Pulmonary edema generally does not resolve on its own and requires treatment. Common treatments include diuretics, vasodilators like nitroglycerine to reduce the heart's workload and sometimes inotropic agents to strengthen the heart's contractions and improve its pumping ability. A low-sodium diet can decrease fluid retention, and regular physical activity and exercise help maintain cardiovascular health. Direct suctioning or drainage of fluid from the lungs is not a standard treatment for pulmonary edema, but it's commonly used when there is fluid in the pleural cavity or around lungs. Called pleural effusion, the prognosis for pulmonary edema heavily depends on the underlying cause. But to say generally, acute pulmonary edema develops rapidly and is a medical emergency, while chronic pulmonary edema usually develops slowly and is often caused by cardiac problems. Non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema has a better prognosis compared to cardiogenic. In the case of cardiogenic pulmonary edema, the prognosis is worse due to the typically underlying heart failure and its progressive nature. 